age of pace. In an age of constant fear over fraud and security breaches, our next company provides uh, generation solutions to manage those risks. Sharing more on their award-winning solutions, can you please welcome Cash Shield founder and CEO Justin Lee? Hello, everyone. Uh, good morning. Uh, very happy to be here. I'm Justin Lee, the founder and CEO of Cashew. So uh, to share a little bit about the great background of myself. Uh, so 20 years ago, I started to venture into e-commerce. So uh, it was the first time ever uh, that anyone from anywhere, even from Singapore, as a teenager, that you can borrow a credit card from your uh, father and start to uh, sign up for an eBay account, PayPal account, and start selling globally, right? So I still recall that uh, during that time, uh, the payment world is almost perfectly safe. So every single transaction and payment that you receive uh, at that time, uh, there's no risk of chargebacks, there's no risk of stolen credit cards, there's no risk of fraud. But within one or two years, uh, things started to change. So key loggers, hackers are stealing credit card information to uh, buy online for free. And that uh, triggered me to be extremely intrigued with algorithms. So uh, uh, Fasten the pace forward, uh, 10 years back, uh, in 2008, I started Cashew, uh, which is the uh, world's first fraud detection solution that can function without any humans to detect fraud and uh, help companies grow. So if you hear a lot about the database bridges around the world today, right? Uh, what does this really mean, right? What's the motivations with hackers or cyber criminals from hacking into a database? So usually, uh, typically, they go for credit card numbers. So when they steal your credit card numbers, hack into a database, uh, they can go shopping for free online. So they go to e-commerce websites, uh, travel sites, airlines to uh, purchase tickets and resell them. But uh, soon uh, things has changed because uh, we realized that there's a huge migration going on today where uh, if you look at the slide itself, uh, credit card itself is no longer the main motivation for hackers to hack into a database. Why is because uh, we realize that when large enterprises win within their home ground, for example, what's happening in China for WeChat or Alipay, uh, companies will start to pile up uh, accounts or apps uh, into their own main apps. So WeChat just, uh, uh, there was an article to show that WeChat today has 1 million mini apps. So this means that uh, apps, which is all based on accounts, are getting more and more valuable in the world. Uh, which means that hackers today are migrating, there's a huge migrating towards attacking and taking over accounts today. And it's quite amazing that um, users today are so reliant on apps itself that uh, when we heard about the news about Uber uh, a few months ago where there's millions of accounts being hacked, but just over a two to three months period, uh, users are back again using Uber. So we have been so reliant on uh, accounts and apps today that uh, we do not really recognize the risk of uh, data being stolen. So accounts today are the new goal, uh, not just in China. We see the trend shifting in Southeast Asia as well. Uh, Grab today launched Grab Delivery, Grab Groceries, uh, Grab Financial, uh, Grab Cycle as well. So uh, these big enterprises, when they win within their home ground, they will start to power up more value into their apps, which is all accounts. Uh, we see the trend going on in US as well and uh, also in Europe as well. So this is some of the uh, cases that uh, you can see um, where uh, hackers are shifting into accounts, bridging into Equifax, uh, 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 different Task Rabbit, uh, uh, Under Armour as well. So all these are accounts where they see a lot of value and they can sell it in the black market away as well. So uh, some interesting facts today is that um, five years ago, if a hacker steals a credit card number and sells it on the dark web, uh, you can fetch a price of probably uh, $5 for each stolen credit card because you can actually buy so many things and resell it online. Uh, if you want, you can even, uh, the, the dark web will even sell you your Facebook account or the email account associated with the credit card so that they can bundle up and sell you for $25. But uh, if you see today, a stolen credit card is only worth on the dark web for 50 cents. So it means that uh, hackers today are losing their uh, motivation to hack, which is why they need to migrate. And if you look at an Uber account in the dark web today, it can fetch a high price of 30 US dollar. So there's a 60x more margin to hack an account than a credit card number today. 
So uh, this actually poses a huge risk of uh, 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 users not aware of how much value their accounts actually means and how much it is to lose them as well. So uh, not to get too deep into the fear model, but uh, if you look at the distant future, uh, it's even scarier. Why? It's because uh, IoT is coming up. So even in your household today, your refrigerators, your smartwatch, uh, even your teddy bear uh, has camera inside, or surveillance camera, and it's or the baby monitor as well. If you look deeper into this, all these are linked to account that is linked to the cloud as well. And there are a lot of cases today already having even baby uh, 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 baby monitors or teddy bears being hacked. And this means that uh, uh, criminals will actually know whether or not you are at home or not. So this poses a great risk to, uh, to, to not just users, but to companies as well from uh, their privacy, uh, uh, from the risk of uh, criminals knowing exactly when to pray at you. Uh, um, and all these are just accounts which can be taken over today as well. So um, very happy to be able to share uh, some of the insights of fraud and uh, uh, happy to share more if uh, downstage as well. Thank you.